You know, I was thinking it's it's getting close to the holiday season, right? Like, uh huh. What holiday is that? Well, it's it's a golden holiday. Some might oh, say. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, one that is full of cheer. Cheer. That and, that was uh, the word I was looking for. Yeah, cheer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, you think of like golden lights. Yeah. You think of of. Uh, Golden retrievers? No, no, that's not right. No, Go- no, 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 no. Like a golden it's... shower. Go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like a My shower yeah. of golden treats for every yeah, for retreat. everyone. It's pissmas. It's pissmas. <laughs> We're making. It's gonna be pissmas. We've made this joke for years internally. I don't know if we've ever said it on the podcast. We've said pissmas we on made, the podcast. Have we? Have we yeah. said pissmas? We've said pissmas before. Apparently, welcome to pissmas. Dogs, they're coming. They're coming your way. They'll be here soon. Hey, where did you come from? This holiday season. Where's your mom? We did get a mature female golden in here just yesterday. A pack of puppies. I've got to get the puppies back with their mom. So we need $200 for the adoption fee. What? Is missing their mom. Our family can't afford it. I don't know what's gotten into him lately. Oh, no! The puppies are gone. Now it's up to Oliver to bring them together. For Christmas, Shannon Elizabeth and Haley Duff as the voice of Rory. Let's go! been a ball a real ball. <laughs> anyway welcome to the podcast let's start well there. rough cuts yeah uh i'm boyx we this is ilion mm-hmm. uh we are a podcast where we watch movies typically starring dogs and then we rate the dogs at the end that way you don't need to watch it to know which are good dogs and which are bad dogs it's a very exactly. important thing that adds and enriches society <laughs> as a whole and we're not just two uh-huh. two idiot <laughs> two idiots who have time to kill no. running, running a podcast De- no <laughs> <laughs> wait we wouldn't have started a podcast at the start of covid that's so fucking stupid well okay we did it before covid it was now, free, been, technically. we've been we've been doing this a long time we have but I, uh yeah so we watch a movie and then we immediately get our thoughts on it uh this one is pissness so Golden Winter, which is no, it's pissmas. Pissmas. It's pissmas. Th- th- this movie's been <laughs> haunting our list yes. since like at, at least not the beginning of the podcast, but at least like the first mm. few months of the podcast. Yeah, I was gonna say it, it was it, a it very early one. It wasn't on the first list, but it was added pretty early, <laughs> and and it's been haunting our backlog since. So we're like, we gotta know. <sighs> I we got it. I got to apologize. I have to apologize to boys, by the way, for this. I'm very, very sorry. I am two for two on picking movies over the last two weeks where we just go, you go, okay, well, fine. You pick a movie. And I'm like, all right, this one. And I immediately pick a movie that has the worst production company imaginable that we didn't realize at the time. First, last week, it was BuzzFeed Films. You went from BuzzFeed to the Asylum. This is an Asylum movie? It's an Asylum movie? Fuck. Fuck, (laughs) I'm out. Why? We just did Buzz... No, we just did BuzzFeed. Get out. Get out. (laughs) We can't do... I can't... This is what you wanted. Fine. Why are you? Why are you listening to me? Don't get out. Keep playing it. This is a bit. Keep going. <laughs> it must. Uh, it's an asylum. Oh, it's a Jesus fucking asylum Christ. movie. God, fuck. I'm getting better. How did I'm you do better. this? This is an asylum film. How was I supposed to know this is an asylum film? A, a production company I said that we would never watch another film from. And yet here we are. And here yeah, we, are. we are. So it's also a bit of a buddies knockoff, like the Air Buddies. Well, it's fucking Asylum. Of course, it's a knockoff. But but specifically, it's a buddies. Yes, film. it is a buddies. Uh, which film, is yeah. let's get some golden retrievers 
and let's make and their make mouths them talk move. like this. And then That's we'll... a horrible racial stereotype. And then we'll have the dog talk like this so that you know which dog it is. And, and the kids will love it. That sounds good. What do you want to play? This way, over here. Kids love accents like this. Right? Like, they didn't try at all on the accents. But also, the dogs are wearing racist and gender stereotyped clothing, so you know which Yes, yeah, so how am I supposed so... to know which one's which? <laughs> so... Like, it's not like the buddy movies. Those, one, those ones at least dressed I, up in I horrible least, stereotypes. I at least know which dog is the racist rapper. Right? Yeah. Like, in this dog... Or like the one that's the ori <laughs> Orientalism dog. Yeah. And this one, I don't know which one pisses until it starts peeing. And I'm like, oh, that's the, the pee dog. Oh, that's the piss dog. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this is actually pissmas. There's a dog named Tinkle, and it's a major plot point. <laughs> it's a major plot point that this dog pees. Golden winter. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Anybody else got a piss? It is truly a pissness. Fuck. I. How bad is it that I also. I just want to go back uh -huh. for just a moment and say. And really point out how low have we sunk that I went, well, at least we got the better production studio, Asylum. <laughs> what? I this mean, week. At least it wasn't Asylum. Buzz, at least it wasn't BuzzFeed again. <laughs> like. Yeah, BuzzFeed, I How think, is the happy lowest of the asylum. low for production companies. Like, yes, it's definitely absolutely. worse than Asylum, somehow. Which is terrifying. Yeah, somehow. I didn't think I would... This is just constantly me digging to new depths, <laughs> is what this is. I'm mining some content here. But it's definitely a dog movie, right? Like, Oh, this is one of the most dog movies. There's the neglected kid, the goofy... Uh, duo of crime dudes. There's... Yeah, like, there's, like, the, exactly. There's the crime duo. There's a gang of kid, like, bad teens. There's video games. Video games. They're skimming the I, cream dogs. I, I'm doing video games with, like, you have to put it as, like, TM at the end of it. Because anytime they put video games in a dog movie, we don't mean video games we mean what like some 70 year old thinks a video game might be if they had just like yeah. whatever random shit their nephew left at their he, house here's a the controller you're playing a video game wave the controller around violently should... yeah you wave it that's how you play yeah, them should... you just you go like this like it's a like it's a workout motion controller yeah should, should... wave it up and down should i re like, should I undo the cord from the center of the controller before I wave it around? What you mean or... is... Because it's so wrapped to, to, around. Yes, to make it clear, the controller cord was wrapped around the controller as to what you're saying. Yeah. No, that's okay. Don't worry uh, about it. Well, this is an Xbox, an original. Should I be using a PlayStation controller and an Xbox yeah, 360 and a Genesis controller and a... Mm hmm Yeah, no, seems good. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they they okay. had they had an OG Xbox that they hooked up, which man, these kids are fucking rad. We're gonna get to how rad yeah, these kids yeah. are in a little while. But like then they chiseled off or like electric taped over the Xbox logo. But they still call it an Xbox. But they named it an Xbox. Charlie, Charlie, get the Xbox hooked up. So that leads me to the question of do they call everything an Xbox? Like like right? some adults call everything a Nintendo, right? Mm -hmm. Like it feels like that. <laughs> but they somehow got see, the right console even though they got the wrong controllers. But that's because see you're saying <laughs> is that like a Nintendo because we're old and our parents called everything a Nintendo. Parents nowadays, I can tell you from working with parents now uh, call everything an Xbox, an Xbox or a PlayStation. Or a PlayStation. Okay. They that don't say sense. a Nintendo anymore. It's a new yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, no, yeah. we you got to understand the people our age are now the parents that say this. Right. Well, at least we all know what popular video game they were playing. It was <clears throat> Anyway, what? <laughs> I don't It had a bat. They had a it... bat. And they were it doing headshots. Bat? Headshots? And there were, there was four of them playing it. One with a PlayStation controller. Yeah. Like an OG but... PlayStation controller. Two with Xbox 360 controllers. And one with an aftermarket Genesis controller. 
Whoa, I did not see you behind that jeep. Man, direct headshot. Did you see your <laughs> oh my... splatter? Oh. Four player split screen. They were doing headshots with it. And it's a fighting game. And it's a fighting game. <laughs> the funniest part. It's a split screen fighting game. That doesn't even I make I love that they mentioned sense. doing a headshot. I love that they made the they're like, wow, I just got a headshot. And it's like in this I guess fighting. Um, I, I do I do want to thank Tubi. This movie mm -hmm. was available outside of Tubi, but we specifically watched the Tubi copy. Which it is felt the right way. Which, yeah, it felt it just and felt it like it was in the spirit, you know, of Christmas, and it was a broadcast copy. So it, it, was... it has it has the beep at the beginning, mm -hmm. with, with like the test signal. It has the the well, just title to hold card. up for a solid minute and a half. They didn't edit it. There is that no, and, but it has the title card showing like the splits of timings for ad breaks. Mm -hmm. And then it yep. breaks into the film, and after the film's over, there's no credits. It instead no. cuts to black and then cut footage with no yes. audio. Like it's, yeah, it's, in case you wanted to add extra footage or like anything something. To the end. I don't know yeah. what yeah. that, that yeah, might like, be, so that they could just play footage with no audio while talking about the film coming up or something while running their own. Probably, thing. maybe, yeah. But, like I'm, I'm not sure why you would have that in a broadcast copy, but yeah, but. Like, I don't know but it shows how little of a Something shit like to be cared about this movie. Appropriately. <laughs> Let's, like, uh, hold up. <laughs> Which is I, correct, but... Yeah. But also, you've got to understand that Tubi was like, we're too good for this. <laughs> <laughs> golden winter. I don't want to this. <laughs> Tubi. Tubi thought they were uh, too We're going to get, what, two viewers a year on this film? Who cares? Fuck, we already <laughs> filled the quota. <laughs> there's somebody There's somebody in the back room sir, of Tubi. Sir, Someone in some golden dark basement. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who's, like, running, running desperately, like, with a printer copy, like... Sir, sir, it's happened! <laughs> like slamming it on a desk. It's like whoop, whoop, whoop. Like they got like, alarms going off. They got like, a fax <laughs> coming in that printed it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh my god. There's a dark underground bunker <laughs> where somebody just had like the tubi the office. raddest day. Yeah. Some dark tubi bunker. <laughs> Don't talk about the dark tubi bunker. They'll come get us. <laughs> <laughs> that they, they they told us not to talk about. That's that. how they. Sw that, yeah, that's how they hire. Don't <laughs> you can't mention the Tubi bunker. You yeah. end up in the Tubi it, bunker. Is this the? This movie might be darker than Shelby, which was another Christmas movie that we no, watched. No, no. Where where they burn dogs alive? I was gonna say because that one they burn the dog. That's the worst. This one's. This is bad, though. I don't know. They abandoned the dogs in a house to starve to death. That's pretty bad. Well, they don't mean to have them starve to death. It's just the natural consequence of their action. Oh. Correct. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> anyway, so Golden, uh. Golden Winter. It, it starts off with a family whose house is being foreclosed, and they need to get out quick before the bank can find them. <laughs> I feel like it's more like before the fucking mob gets them because Something. like why are they they're basically grabbing go bags and fucking getting the hell out but like that can't be right because the bank are the good guys. Oh god, <laughs> let we'll listen. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, they the house is fully furnished. Yes, and not just fully furnished, but also filled with their items still. Like and for recently example, cleaned. A yes, for example, a TV, like a big screen TV. Yeah, yeah. Their Christmas tree with all their presents what? under it. Yes, yeah. The Christmas tree with yeah. all the presents. All their living uh, room like, furniture. Yep. Like there's cleaning supplies. There's boxes for moving that they just don't take. Like it feels like maybe this it dad was bet the on mob. some horses maybe and he's owing money mob. to some real people. Yeah. yeah, like, he owes some money to some worse people than the bank, which is a low bar. It's really weird. And and then the bank guy, who is our hero's our hero. dad. 
Well, and also our hero in a lot of ways. Uh, shows yeah. up to foreclose the house to inform them that their house is being foreclosed on. And he hears one of the dogs, the mother dog, not the six puppies mm-hmm. that live there, has been abandoned. Also, to put this in context to show how dark this is, uh, they have the dogs talk. So he hears the dog barking, mm-hmm. but then it cuts to the dog pulling at the gate and screaming, help, help, my children and I are dying. We're starving in here. Please save us. We've been abandoned. We're going to I'm die a horrible death. I'm not kidding. Please help us. Oh my God. Just the My one. <laughs> this is no, no, no. horrible. Yeah, this sucks. Oh, God. Um. For the kids. That's not a joke. And that is the dialogue. And then our hero doesn't save them, calls no. animal control as he's leaving. He's like, hey, I think they left their dog. And they're like, all right, we can get somebody out there later this week. And he's like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Not my dog. It's not and my he fucking drives away. Problem. Yeah, our hero. Yeah. Uh huh. So then animal control shows up. They have to go in the back door because the front door was locked. And they also didn't mic them during the front door scene. So you have to <laughs> no. hear them through the door where the camera is. Yeah. And, and then they show up and they get the mother dog and tear her away from her puppies. Because the puppies who were playing. And they were talking like this, you see. Because they got the raspy fucking smoking voice. And one like this. And uh, another one. like it, They all just have like the stupidest, worst voice acting type stuff possible. Uh-huh. It's that Tim and Eric sketch of uh, where they get Zach Galifianakis to be a drama <laughs> teacher. And he's like, what's the most important part of your acting kit? That's right. It's your nose. Because you can pinch your nose and you can do all kinds of voices. And it's just like, it's the, him so doing bad. that. That's that's the voice acting level in this. It's like, hello, governor. Like, oh, you just pinch your nose in a different spot <laughs> and you get a different voice. See? And it's it's that. It's that. It's really good. It's really good. You think I'm an idiot? It's your nose! Why is it your nose? It's because you can change your voice. You can become different characters. For instance, what do I do when I press my nose? Hello, Gov. Hello, Governor. Hello, Governor. Hello, Governor. Uh, do you mind know where I can get me some iced tea? See what I did there? I modified what how I was holding my nose, and it changed my voice again. Uh, do you mind know where I get some iced tea? I got caught shoplifting at the Chevy dealership. What have we learned today? Yes, sir, you in the back. That you can beat anybody you want if you hold your nose. I never said that. I'll never say that. Don't you ever, don't you ever say that again to me. But, so, Fuck, so, the, so great. the animal control tears the mother away who's crying about her puppies that are stuck in the house because they lock mm. themselves in a room by yep. knocking over the boxes that the owners negligently left stacked when they quickly abandoned their home. By the way, these puppies are homeless, according to the box. <laughs> yes, according to the box, they're homeless, homeless puppies. Homeless puppies. Uh, and they lock themselves in a room where they will starve to death being unfound because their mother dog has been torn away from them. And and then they... Merry Christmas, Merry children. Christmas. Merry Christmas, one and all. And, and one of the dogs, who's a puppet... <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Holds a mop from a distance with their puppy hands <laughs> and opens the door by knocking the boxes away. 
somehow. And then using the broom to get the latch. Which is really funny. It, it's, it, you know, it's pretty good. It's... Yeah, can I take a very, very quick aside to do, like, so you were talking about the guys not being mic'd at the front, and yeah. then this shit, like, I don't know, how do we get them out of the room? Uh, just get a fucking dog toy and, like, like a toy dog and yeah. move it around, move it around it yeah. like it's opening the door. This is an Asylum special, because it's not that they don't know how to do these things. They just don't give a shit. No. They're just too... They are just so fucking lazy. There's such a churning out bullshit garbage house that's just trying to, like, ride the algorithm and or make fake movies that look like the real movies so that your grandma will buy it for you. Mm-hmm. They don't give a fuck. Like, they just churn this garbage out. And you think the puppy's getting free, by the way. Mm-hmm. And- and then that situation would lead to them leading to like leaving and looking for their mom and going off in a grand adventure because they're going to be free from their situation. No, it's them finding a phone which is glued to a table that they need to six of them, five of yeah. them pull at the same time to get off so that they can call for help on the phone. Because they're desperately in need of food before they starve to death. Correct. In this prison yes. home. And it's, yep. it's so dark. It's real. It's very. It's real bad. Um, I, I do want to talk a little bit more about how little they give a shit to. Because they do the melt Yes, that's thing. why I wanted to mention, I, yeah. I wanted to finish off that thought first. But so... Mm-hmm. They give a shit so little, and you could tell because of th- they did the mouth moving like in the buddies films, but their budget was yep. way lower. <laughs> and, yeah, because they don't care, and they don't give a shit. So only the bottom part of the jaw moves mm-hmm. up and down. It flaps up and down like a puppet with vampire teeth. <laughs> yes, you know, like those fake vampire plastic teeth yeah. that like kind of jiggle around in your mouth so they don't look at all real. Hey, guess what? (laughs) These dogs have, like, jiggly teeth. And they don't even try to match the fur color to the color of the dog with the mouth that they digitally put on. So it's just a different mouth moving on the body of the dog, and it looks so bad. And and that goes into, like, our stuff about how they have the video game later on, like, how nothing matches. Because I don't, for a lot of companies i would say oh it's that they don't know video games but this one is just it's asylum so they just didn't fucking care like how Mm. the cord is still wrapped around the controller is kind of like the perfect asylum moment where it's like most people would understand even if you don't know that the controllers don't match or whatever and they don't go to that system that okay but you gotta unwrap the controller this one they're like I don't know, kids, grab a controller. Do we care what you do with it? Not at all. Don't give a fuck. Do whatever you they want. They did it all in We're one take. This scene. Yes. And then like the whole on. movie is all... Yeah. It's like one take the movie. Yeah. And that's all Asylum stuff. It's why I said that we wouldn't watch more Asylum films. And then I fucked it. I that, fucked it up. That's why I said everybody should go out and watch one cut of the dead right now. Because that is one take oh my the movie. God. But good. <laughs> yes. And also, like... <laughs> a love letter to cinema in a way that uh, is just like golden winter <laughs> no 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 it isn't no no like seriously <laughs> okay quick digression on one cut of the dead that movie is yeah. a l- extremely low budget but we want to show that we can show attention and care to the art and cinema is exactly that. Even if you're making it for commercial reasons, you should care about it. It's a love. It's art. It's beautiful. And that movie is amazing. Just like And it's Golden a zombie Winter. movie. It's a just zombie like movie Winter. that's just a literal piece of, like, we love art cinema. Anyway, <laughs> it's fucking incredible. Okay, but Don't real... you dare slander <laughs> One Cut from the Dead anymore. <laughs> real time, people should watch One Cut from the Dead. Anyway, really um, cool. what I was getting at. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's just go on with the story. Fuck it. So Fuck it. Uh, a gang breaks in to the abandoned house that's been foreclosed with the puppies inside by just uh-huh. opening the front window in broad daylight. Yeah. 
I guess. And it was night, I thought. I thought it was night at that point. It was night, but when they go inside and they hand video game it's controllers, day. it's day. Yes. So, I again, we don't give a shit. I don't think <laughs> they, they don't, care. The, we don't give a shit. The production company, but uh, the gang shows up. The ghost gang, the most awesome gang of all. God, they're and, so fucking cool. And they're like, yo, I heard this house is getting foreclosed. Look at the sign that's on the front door. Oh, shit. Hell, yeah. That means we just got the perfect hangout until Christmas. We got a clubhouse. Because it's like, oh, it's going to be. They're like, look, the sign says that it's empty until like January 3rd or something. Mm-hmm. So, man, from like December 3rd, which it is, till then. Fuck yeah, video game party house, baby! Yep. And look, they left all the furniture, there's a TV in the back, and then goes, Yo, hook up the Xbox! Hook up the and Xbox! They, <laughs> they fucking... Like, dude, this is the coolest group of children mm-hmm. ever. The kids, Jimmy, mm-hmm. Biff, and the other two, who are not important at all. <laughs> and they don't name, yes, that's correct. Uh, <laughs> um, they call in their newest member to haze him oliver they should haze him also just a second i just jimmy biff the ugly one (laughs) the (laughs) other (laughs) and they're the coolest very cheap girls god they're so cool struck it rich gentlemen we've got the official christmas vacation out of the ghost game and they they start hazing him they blindfold him and they they do the ritual to join him into the gang, and then he's in the gang, and and they're playing split screen fighting games, and then Oliver is introduced to the puppies because the puppies are like, hey, that kid over there is kind of a dweeb. He's not like the rest of the gang. We can get him to help us get out of this horrible prison house. Yes, they make these children that have <laughs> broken into this house just to play video games and hang out seem like horrible evil nasty terrible delinquents that are bad 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 children yeah. but oliver's super good this fucking like v-neck sweater wearing straight like stick up his ass loser he's got a bowl cut a... he's like mo from the fucking three stooges he's such a fucking dweeb and they make him out to be the worst person he sucks so much he's such an asshole Oliver finds the puppies and also certifications to say that they're purebred dogs, so they're worth money. Uh And and Biff walks in, and he's like, Yo, you got puppies? Oh, shit, I gotta tell the boys. Which, hell yeah, ghost gang rules! (laughs) They want dogs! They got dogs, baby! The rest of the ghost gang comes in and is like, Yo, you've been holding out on us, Oliver? You got fucking dogs? Oh, shit, (laughs) I gotta pet that dog. Puppies, cool. Yo, puppies! Oh, shit! They're trying so hard to make these kids bad, and there's no reason they should be bad. Puppies, huh? You've been holding out on us all? Yo, puppies! They're all just super happy. Yeah, and it says here that got... What a terrible gang of children. They they're got, awful. They evil, got pedigree certifications. That means they're worth a lot of money, like five or six hundred dollars each. Oh, shit, that's like three thousand dollars. Do you know how many Skittles and video games we could buy with that? like 30, are you kidding that's enough to keep us in skittles and video games for 10 years <laughs> we get to play with them for a while then sell them for money in video games hell yeah my parents wouldn't <laughs> let me have these dogs can i just i want to interrupt for just mm-hmm. a moment just to because oliver is sitting there and he's doing his, he's so mopey sad. i'm such a sad kid i don't want to play video games here see because what I really wanted to do today is I wanted to go and kick a soccer ball with my dad. What I wanted and to do I, was throw well, my the dad, well, my... in with my dad in the backyard. And it's like, oh, well, your parents care that you're here playing video games with us? No, I wanted to play soccer with my dad, but he's working. It's really sad how abused I am. And then the evil, nasty, horrible, god-awful villain gang kid goes... Yeah, I'm here because my dad beats me, so I'm just running away from home. It's so Man, what a monster this kid is. Up. It's so fucked up. What? Like, 
they're trying to make him seem like a bad kid and that he's a terrible t- and, and, and the like, gang keeps trying to involve him in their stuff right like that they're, yes. they're playing video games and and their fighting game <laughs> Split screen. Sure. Yeah. And and then it cuts to Oliver on the couch, just sadly looking up at the sky, looking around at the windows. They just don't understand. And they're like doing fade cuts it. over and yeah. over, like overlaid over top of it. You <laughs> mentioned that this was the Jonathan Blow mean crying, moment of him crying, crying in, in a, a corner. Yeah. While some of the boys is like, yo, alone. there ain't no fucking point to the game. You just jump around and yeah. then whoop, whoop. And I I agreed and laughed, but I didn't know how accurate it was until you literally just cut the audio on this and overlaid it, and it matches up beat for beat fucking perfectly. It's terrifying, and it's amazing. And they think it's great, but the connection isn't there because they're kind of living in a different world still. So they think it's great for some of the reasons that I do, but but not for other reasons. They're not seeing the most important thing. It's so funny. It's so funny. Yeah, they make this kid like such a dweeb who doesn't want to get involved and help these other kids and be friends with them out to be like such a cool hero. And these kids that are literally abused in the story of the movie. Yes. Oh, well, they're awful. See, he's abused. What kid would abuse their... What parent would abuse their kid? Obviously, he deserves it or something, right? He's so bad. Like, it's, is it's that what they're awful. going for? I don't, like, it's so I don't think they fucking... knew what they were going for. Ah, I'm going to be honest. so bad. So, so Oliver's dad calls him on his cell phone. And it's like, mm-hmm. hey, you want to go play soccer? Let's go right now. Come to my office. We're leaving. And this fucking dweeb leaves the coolest party house for, like, 14-year-olds mm-hmm. of all mm-hmm. time to go and fucking kick a soccer ball with his dad for five minutes across town. But his dad's busy with work, and he didn't, he didn't expect more work to get piled on. So yep. Oliver is very mad at his dad. Because this poor, because he has to wait. Out child. He has to wait over an hour <sighs> with the soccer and it's ball. It's like the best thing is they keep showing the clock of like he's mm-hmm. like, okay, sorry, like there's been some last minute work. I just have a little bit more to do, and then I'll go play with you. And they're showing him kicking the ball as the time on the wall goes, and they're like doing a montage of the time going. But like they show it's the like clock minutes. like five times, yeah. and it's going five or ten minutes at a time, and you're like. Wait, he had to wait an hour and a half for his dad. What the fuck is his problem? That's not that long. I, I feel <laughs> like, like he's I definitely do that all the time. He's it's definitely not... a little spoiled, like obviously a little. But yeah, he's also at that age where everything feels like a big deal, and sure, he could be playing video games and petting dogs while eating snacks with his friends. But instead, his dad told him he was going to do something, and he was busy. And now it's just a huge. He's going to leave the family and run away and threaten them. (laughs) Sure. Listen, it's less that Oliver's reaction to this is unrealistic. Like, kids will freak out about that kind of thing. Sure, fine. Like, kids don't have a lot of patience sometimes. I get that. It's just how exaggerated it is in the situation, I think. And also how much the movie wants you to sympathize with that being, like, a valid and relatable reaction (laughs) rather than like right well you have to remember this movie's for kids anyways the dogs run away and they go to (laughs) the junkyard where the evil gang of cannibal (laughs) dogs yeah 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 yeah. the the russian the russian cannibal gang shows up and threatens Mm -hmm. their lives and says he's gonna murder those dogs eat them and then bury their bones in the junkyard you know what we do to strange animals who come into our block? <laughs> no, we no. stab them and bury their First bodies. We kill them. Oh my god! Then we eat them. <laughs> then we bury their bones. Oh no! Oh no! Puppies <gasps> the thing. Hundreds. <laughs> and I've got the biggest appetite of all. <laughs> 
Well then, uh, why don't you wait for the next group of tasty toddlers and we'll just be on our way. And then they show the desecrated, bloodied remains of the other dogs that they have chopped up in a bathtub and eaten because they are a cartel drug gang of dogs. They're basically the Texas Chainsaw Massacre of dogs, right? Like, Or they're like the, the actual real, like, as if Fox News had the reality of what, like, MS-13 or whatever. <laughs> like, they're like... They're like the the real life racist stereotype that Fox News pretends gangs are. Like they're gonna eat babies. Like the, they're that. They're that. The Seattle chop of yeah, a sure. bunch of hippies murdering cops and eating them. Yeah, okay. Yes. Oh my god. So anyway, the Russian Mexican cartel gang of cannibal murderers. Uh, in this kids movie our puppies lives and tries to kill them but then oliver shows up to save them uh with a water hose that he just finds on the ground i guess and the the cartel gets a little wet and then they run away why would he spray these dogs at all i maybe he heard that they were cannibal cartel dogs <laughs> like there's no reason <laughs> This is the thing. It's not like he knows what they've done. They're just dogs that are just sitting there staring across from his puppies. And his first reaction is, you know what? I'm going to fuck these dogs I'm gonna up. I'm going to fuck <laughs> these dogs up. And, and he was right. a bad kid. He was right to do it. But, you know, those dogs were going to kill those dogs. I saw it. They were coming right for him. <laughs> God. But, oh, this kid's definitely growing up to be a fucking cop. So Oliver has a change of heart in selling the dogs for a bunch of money for some reason uh, and decides that he's going to lie to the gang about taking the dogs out in a wagon to sell them mm -hmm. and instead takes them to every shelter that he knows of to see if he can take them in or to look for their mother dog or something. This makes zero fucking sense because he demands in like 20 minutes later, he has a gigantic fucking hissy fit at his mom yeah. and tells her that she needs to sell the house so that he can have four dogs and a mom dog for these dogs. That, he's sick of her shit always being on the phone and looking at stuff like teenagers and she yes. needs to sell the house and buy them some dogs and also all of her puppies or else I'm going to I jump off a bridge. I don't know what his plan is here. Dad needs to quit his job and play soccer with me. Yeah. That's literally his his goal. And he's right. The movie portrays him as correct. Yes. Be it's so fucking because frustrating. Because he found the mom dog at an animal shelter in somebody's yes. house that she's running out of her kitchen. Which, but like, fine. Yeah, and sure. And she says, yes, the dog's here, but I need permission from your parents and $200. But you could you could adopt her, like, tomorrow if you want. Yeah, I guess. You just need $200. How do they know that that dog is the mom dog? Well, it was the only golden retriever that was dropped in the, off in at a shelter city. in the city. <laughs> it's the only, the only golden retriever in this city. Also, again, yeah. he. how do you know that they didn't just abandon the puppies and they kept the mom? Uh, on top... He doesn't. Like, no. And the whole thing... Like, it's just... It's the laziest, stupid contrivance. Because, again, like you were saying, what was his goal with these dogs? They don't explain it. He just... I, I thought he was taking the dogs to the shelter to try and get them adopted out underneath the gang. So... But he's... Yeah. Just to get rid of them so the gang couldn't sell them to buy... But that's not his Skittles goal. and video games. But that's not his goal. His goal he wants was to dogs. find the mom and then keep them all for himself. So he's skimming the cream dogs. But he also didn't know that there was a mom and he wasn't looking for the mom. He was... Oh, it's so fucking stupid. Like, they just yeah. don't know. It's just basically he runs into the mom by total accident and then just decides, wait, no, I'm going to keep all the dogs. All the dogs All are the mine. dogs for me. It. I mean, it feels like he's the criminal here. You know? He's such a fucking entitled shit. <laughs> But he, he comes back with all the dogs, and he's talking about needing the $200 to himself, mm -hmm. so that the gang can overhear him as he's coming back. They're like, yo, you said he needed $200 for something. That's perfect. We got the perfect crime, and now we can 
bring him in because he needs money. <laughs> so they they lie to him. The ghost gang. Yes. They lie to him because they don't trust him. Because he's a fucking snitch and he's stealing the dogs from underneath them. And Correct. and he's he's not a good gang member. He won't even play fighting games with them. Right? He like just sits in that corner and cries, and then every time they want to like go and do something cool, he's like, No, I gotta walk across town with my dad so I can kick a soccer ball in his office. So they try they try to test him. To see if he's really mm. ghost gang material, you know? He's not. He's not. <laughs> I'm just gonna... So, but they, they lie to him about one of their gang members, the the, the ugly one. <laughs> the ugly one. <laughs> uh, decided that he wanted to buy a pearl necklace for his mom, because he loves his mom. Which is a surprise, because he fucking hates his parents. And he loves her so much, but when he tried to do it, this kid who's an Eagle Scout stole it from the the store ahead of time. So he can't... So now we've got to re-steal it. He can't buy it with his money. So we need to steal it from his house and then give it back to the store because they offered a $200 reward, which we will give and you, Olive. They call him Olive. Specifically, if you go steal it for us and then give it back to the store, the two hundred dollar reward is yours. We're doing this out of the goodness of our hearts, and to see, test him to see if he's stupid enough to believe this story, which he is, which he is, <laughs> which he is. So, so he breaks into their house with the help of the ghost gang. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> What? <laughs> and anyway, by the way, the puppies are like, "Yeah, you need to steal so you can buy your mom back." Yeah, it's amazing. All the dogs are like, they the dogs interject here and go like, "I mean, Oliver, fair enough." Please, you have to do it. Do it for sure. <laughs> to steal. All right, go, Oliver. Oliver you it gotta out. steal. steal. Be... It's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I should do it. Dogs, you're my conscience. What should we do? I want to steal. <laughs> <laughs> More like flat out stealing from him? What? No way! Why not? We already stole a horse. Hey guys. No, we didn't. Fred's a talking horse. He can do whatever he wants. I want to steal. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's cooler than Oliver, is what I'm saying. The dogs are cooler than Oliver. The gang's cooler than Oliver. Oliver's a dweeb. That's why your dad doesn't want to hang with you, dude. It's so, it's so funny. And, and it's just, uh, Oliver is breaking into their house, which has a cat that everybody knows dogs are scared of. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, these dogs are the, terrified because there's a cat fluffy in there. Jimmy, the leader of the gang, takes a photo of Olive inside the house through the glass window with the flash. With the flash. Which me, the professional photographer, looking at his very <laughs> shitty 2010 camera phone and the angle that he's using that flash, he ain't getting shit. You ain't blackmailing anybody with mm -hmm. that, man. And as he tries to steal the the necklace, which he does find. The... Uh, so I have another question real quick about mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, now mm -hmm. that I'm realizing it. So Jimmy, Jimmy, hey, can I come here, come here for a minute? Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. <sighs> How do, you, how do you explain to the cops that you got that photo from their backyard? He wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> Olive is a fucking idiot. Do you think he's gonna think that far? Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Jimmy would never actually go to the cops. This is true. Jimmy wouldn't Jimmy wouldn't snitch. go to the cops. He's just, this is just a threat. This is a bluff. Gotcha. Jimmy okay, specifically said it. we can't go to the cops, A cab. They're all fucking... <laughs> that's true. He does actually like, basically Jimmy say that. Jimmy is still yeah. the coolest kid in this movie. You're oh yeah, by a lot. Yeah, he was just he was just playing him for a fool. Uh, but they they get out after the dogs help Olive steal the necklace by distracting the family and then tearing the house apart to make it look like the cat did it. But Olive's yep. so bad at stealing, he leaves the necklace on the cat. I yeah. So they don't get any money, I guess. Uh, I guess. He and, couldn't and, even do the crime. And that's when he gets so mad that he demands his parents buy the dog and take all the puppies in, or else he'll leave and never come back. And also, again, remember that 
specifically too, you guys need to quit your jobs and sell the and house lose, and sell the house so that I can spend time with you all the time with you every second. And also, and all these have, dogs live here now. And you have to have all of these dogs. And which his parents, well, his mom is sitting there talking to him with their, like, three identical espresso machines on the <laughs> counter. You need one for every cup. <laughs> like, it's so fucking lazy. They just wanted to <laughs> fill counter space. They're just like, I don't know, we have three of these. Throw them all up. Yeah. It yeah. goes, like, in their goddamn suburban, like, McMansion that they have. Like, this is gigantically nice. She's like... It's a nice house, well, we, yeah. We couldn't afford to possibly like spend any it, time with you mostly because you're a gigantic dweeb and we hate you like it's not as big of a, a mansion as the beverly hills chihuahua 2 mansion no, where they're saying no. we're poor and we can't afford anything but it's the same concept of we are we are poor we can't afford anything i mean look at our mansion <laughs> this is a seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar house that has three espresso machines <laughs> that are worth like a th- couple thousand each, dollars a piece each, on their camera yeah. yes so he goes back to the gang hideout, the ghost gang hideout, the most awesome gang in all the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the most awesome, like, child gang that I've ever seen, period. They fucking rule. And as he's sneaking around looking for the dog so he can steal them from the gang, because he's not part of the gang anymore, he's a, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> yes, correct. Uh, they, Jimmy's uncle. Jimmy's uncle, Mm -hmm. Frankie, shows up in his black leather jacket and grabs Olive. And And his greasy hair. And he's got greased back hair. He's a 50s greaser. His greasy buddy, Kyle, from, you know... (laughs) What's his name? I don't... I do not remember. I do not remember. Ralphie Notos. Oh, yeah, I remember the no-toes, but I couldn't remember the first name. He looks kind of like Kyle Gass. <laughs> yeah, I was good. Yes, I knew exactly where you were going with that. I'm like, oh, you, you mean, yeah, pick a destiny. <laughs> but they they grab the kids. They throw the dogs in prison. Uh, mm-hmm. And then they tell the kids to call their parents and say they won't be back because they're having a sleepover. And then take their phone so they can't call for help. Yes. Because they're taking over this dog operation. I like what you're doing, kids. I think we too could get $3,000. I, I think we can get in on this money. How would you like to make some real cash, though? What yeah. we're going to do is we're going to steal the novelty check from the Elk Club when they give it to the Boys and Girls Club. Because the bank is going to donate $10,000 to the Boys Club at a holiday Christmas party for the bank that olive's dad works for because he's the foreclosure agent who ruins christmas for families all around town yo and and for some reason yeah i remember our hero the foreclosure agent for some reason these two bumbling idiots think that they'll just give them bags of cash with money signs on them instead of like a novelty check and the money's uh-huh. just digitally transferred to the account, like a bank. So, anyways, <laughs> so anyways, they knock over the boys and girls club by stealing a van and kicking all of the actual Santa and elves out of it and replacing them, and then get handed big bags of money <laughs> with dollar, with signs, dollar on signs on them <laughs> in cash. It's so dumb. It, Fuck this. It makes no. Why didn't they? Why? Okay. Why did they need to abduct the boys' club, steal their we van, about, yeah. and impersonate them for the whole event so they could get handed the bags of money and then leave with it? When they could have just abducted the boys' club, locked them up, stole their van, and left with the money after they got it at the event? Yep, that's a great question. Their plan uh, was almost question. there. <laughs> yeah, there's literally no reason for them to like do it after they could just do it like before they could just do it after just get them and, once they have the money and the dad's at the party with olive in elf gear but he he doesn't know it's olive because olive is wearing a fake beard and mustache and it's like a clark kent situation no boy because it's because he doesn't spend any time with his son 
Oh, oh, he just doesn't know what he looks like. He just doesn't even know what he looks like anymore. <laughs> like, I I don't know. Also, the bank manager, CEO. The I Monopoly man? They, they portray him as, like, the CEO because he offers the dad a job in the executive suite. Um, as if they're, like, some massive, well, huge corporation. He offers him a job as an executive in the forbearance department. Yes. And says that if oh, he God, doesn't let's... leave at 5 p.m. every day, he's fired. Does that fired. give you enough time for your son, you piece of shit? Leave my fucking office and spend time with your family. I'm such a good bank guy. Yeah. Oh, God. They make him out to be such a hero. But also, it's made like they have this gigantic executive suite and all of these kinds of things. And yeah. they're throwing their Christmas party at... Like the Elk Lodge with wood panel walls filled with dollar it's store down. Che- cheap garbage props, and he goes, "Wow, this is the greatest Christmas party that anybody has ever planned in all of existence." Thank you, Olive's dad, for doing this. Look at what they have. They have solo cups, a nutcracker. Um, he grabs the nutcracker. The bank CEO guy goes like, wow, look at how great all this Christmas stuff is. And he grabs the, a nutcracker, a dollar store cheap ass like toy nutcracker. Yeah. He's like, isn't this amazing? And is like pulling on it. Fucking move. <laughs> Fuck asylum. So, God. So Ralphie, the, the henchman, mm. is dressed up as Santa. And nobody knows that it's not really Santa. Until his I beard s- falls off I later. I siphoned off your power for this one, where I called exactly what was going yeah. to happen 20 seconds before it did, where he's <laughs> got his beard on as Santa, and then a, the tree falls on him, and I go, oh, they're going to unbeard him, and they're going to go, wait, you're not the real Santa. Which they do. Which they do, because that's the <laughs> stupidest possible thing they could do, so of course they did it. And- and then the uncle tries to run away, but Tinkle pissed on the floor, and it's a golden piss Because it's a piss So he trips on the piss, which makes him fall. They actually, all the dogs even ask Tinkle, they're like, Quick, you need to piss! Hurry! Well, we, it's an emergency, we need your piss! We need your piss, and then Tinkle's like, Well, when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> yeah, this was a literal plot point. <laughs> So, but then Frankie runs into the other room with the bags of money, looking for, desperately for a weapon. And he comes back out with some antlers and the mama dog, who was uh, adopted earlier that day because the dad adopted it. Because he realized that his son, who was demanding that they sell the house and he quit his job, was correct. So I'm going to spend $200 on this dog as a Christmas present. Even though we already bought you the $300 life-size soccer goal this 12 this 12 year old's hissy fit demand is in fact the correct thing yep. and we should be doing that but say these parents but frankie's holding the antlers at the dog's throat and is saying i'm gonna yes. fucking kill this dog i will slit this dog's motherfucking throat if you don't let me out with these comical bags of money i know i know how to get rid of dog bodies too i know a gang of russian <laughs> cartel to- <laughs> that'll make yep. you fucking shit your pants, kids. This is terrifying. What? How did... Get away from that door! What the... Dog dies. And, and the kids try to stop him by shooting marshmallows at him with their shoot Santa sack guns. For some reason yes, that they have. But it doesn't work because a... it's just marshmallows. So instead, our hero, Olive... Uh, kicks a soccer ball at his face while the dogs grab Christmas lights and AT-AT his legs so that he can't move and will fall Mm -hmm. as they keep hitting soccer balls at his head. And then Frankie's like, you know, I'm just going to fucking kill this dog, right? You you hit me with a goddamn ball. Like, I could just kill the dog. I'm just going to murder this dog. (laughs) But he forgets about that for some Some reason. reason. I guess. And then the dad shows how cool of a dad he is by also kicking the soccer ball to to knock out the thief, I guess. 
Merry Christmas. By the way, he had a bat. The, he had a baseball just, bat. He could have fucking hit him. Just you could just you could just do that. Uh, it's weird how violent the end of this gets. It's an asylum movie. <laughs> so after but, after the the villain gets caught as he was threatening to murder this dog in cold blood and drag its corpse throughout the hall of the elk club. Mm hmm. The the bank manager comes up and the dad's like, I'm sorry, bank manager. I need to quit. I need to do what's important and follow what's important in my life. Like my son and this dog I adopted and her six puppies. And so I'm quitting my job and selling my house. And yet, like, they... You think they were joking yeah. about the house selling? They constantly make mm-hmm. reference to, if we have all these dogs, we can't afford our house. That's all right. We'll just sell it. Because the mom seems like, don't worry, we'll live in a smaller home, but it'll be fine. It won't be quite the 10-bedroom, 14-bathroom mansion, but we'll at least have six bedrooms and eight bathrooms. Right? Like, what the like, okay, fuck lady. is this? <laughs> What is this? We'll have to sell one of our four cars too. Your dad's real sad about it. <laughs> like, okay, man. Uh huh. All right. And the the bank manager's <laughs> like, well, well, you can't quit your job because I'm moving you up to the executive suite. We don't like foreclosing on poor people anymore. We're we're the good bank, you know, like well, all banks. No, he specifically doesn't want the dad to foreclose. He's gonna get somebody else to handle the foreclosures. They're still doing that. <laughs> no, he talks about it. They're making the forbearance department to help people stay in their homes oh, instead of foreclosing okay. on them. Remember? Oh, that was why okay. it was the forbearance department rather than the foreclosure department. I see, I see. But this is a fucking wonderful life, but Mr. <laughs> Potter is the hero. Yeah. It's so fucking fucked. And, and as the mom is reintroduced to her puppies, uh, the eldest puppy named Rory. Who at the beginning of the movie, she said, you're the leader now of these puppies. Mm-hmm. Because you're 12 seconds older than the other puppies. Yes. She, she's reintroduced and Rory's like, mom, I found you. I'm so glad. And the mom's like, Rory, I only made you the leader because you were the oldest. And I didn't mean it at all. You suck. You're the worst yeah, leader you're the of the worst. all. <laughs> I, you are terrible. I but, only did it as a joke. <laughs> but now that you've introduce this child to crime help them commit crime and then <laughs> knocked over the tree at these criminals and pissed all over them <laughs> now i believe in you. now you're a real leader i was only testing you i didn't think you would actually kill godric especially you rory yeah rory when i said you were the leader before it was just because you were the oldest <laughs> now you earned it i i didn't actually mean it <laughs> <laughs> Well, kind of. We got mom back. A cozy place to live. Lots of snacks. And everybody wants to give us tummy rubs. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> what? What? It's a Christmas miracle. It's a pissmas. Please. Merry Pissmas. Name the name the proper holiday. Merry Pissmas, everyone. Merry Pissmas, and one and all. The movie ends on you know I didn't really think you were a leader. I was just fucking with you. <laughs> and the mom and the dad quit their jobs as real estate agent and banking executive so they can sell their house and spend their entire day kicking a soccer ball with their twelve year old. Who is absolutely correct. And thankfully, Olive and Biff are still playing that Xbox to this day. The Xbox PS260. (laughs) Merry Christmas. It's a prototype. Don't worry about it. Don't look it up. (laughs) I mean, it was a dog movie. It it fit the bill. It was such a dog movie. It fit the bill. Fake video games, neglected children, idiot criminals, like lazy, horrible writing... The fake piss dog, fetish. fake dog. They got fake dog, fake fake dog, piss fetish. All of it. It's got everything. Yeah. <sighs> you know, I, I think it's time we rate those dogs. Yeah. But there's the mama dog, uh, who hates. What's her name? <laughs> I do know. 
I don't. No, I don't. That's my. That is my point. What's she, her name? She I has don't... a name. I know she has. Does one. she? Because they. Does she? They... I don't know if they say it. I think they do name her, but I think it's the puppies that name her, not the humans. I don't think the humans ever gave her a name, but she has one. <laughs> and and she's also. She didn't go back for her puppies. She no. essentially abandoned them, even if it yes. wasn't intentional because she was pulled away. Uh, mm-hmm. She gave her child false hope and uh, lied to her about her skills to try and make her feel better. Yep. Uh, I guess. And then told her child at the end, you know, I was lying, right? <laughs> I was just fucking, I was joking. By the way, you're a really shitty kid. <laughs> I, you know what? This is a pretty cool dog. Uh huh. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I'm thinking so. It's like maybe a nine out of ten. Like I don't know. It's a dog. <laughs> and then, can you name the? Oh God, it's. I think it's only five of them. Is it only There's five? Only five. Uh, they all look the same, and there's nothing to distinguish them. So it's hard to they tell. They don't how have different many colored collars. Yeah, they don't have different colored collars. They don't do anything either. They're, they're like, all they are wearing collars that have a tag that has individual names, but half yeah, but the time you can't see that in a movie. You can't see it in the movie, and half the time the tags are the side with the phone number, which is not the name well, of the dog. Sure, like think of when you see a dog when they're walking around on the street. Yeah, and let's just say that you see them like from five feet away, so you're pretty close. And to I'm that not dog. I'm not immediately jumping towards the dog to pet it. Can you okay. see the dog tag in its name? No. No, of no. course not. So, like, that's... And, and then they, they need something more to signal. They're all they the same breed anything. with no distinguishing yes. fur Correct. marks. Okay. No, yeah, no, that's fair. So uh, there's no way to tell I, that, what these dogs are. Two of the puppies are Tinkle and Rory. Tinkle's the piss one. Yes. And, the only dog that I knew was the piss dog. And, and because they make it such a big plot point, and none of the other dogs do anything at all. Rory's so. the leader dog who constantly tells them that they're doing bad things, but never does anything to improve the situation and just whines and complains. Uh, oh, it's all of and, and then there's the nasty dog. Okay, I do know about the nasty dog. And, and then, also, and then I'm I the dog with is. my nose closed. I know those two dogs. All the dogs have. Oh, oh, there's there's Snoozer, who's the sleepy dog. Oh, there was the sleepy dog. You're right. I know Snoozer, but the other two dogs are just like nasty dog and nose dog. I don't know what they do. There's. Fuck it. I'm giving these dogs a five or a six out of ten. I'm not sure which because I don't know. I don't know how many there. So I'm I'm gonna five or it's either five or six. I'm gonna rate these dogs as at least they weren't gendered or racist stereotypes out of ten. Yeah, like I don't know if it's worse that you can't distinguish any of the dogs or if they're like horrible. But because I because I can't distinguish them, at least they're not stereotypes, right? Like, hooray! (laughs) That means it's something. It's it's, it's they fucking they fucking made it over the finish line by tripping on a rock while they were walking away from it. Like they they fuck up so bad they actually win. I guess you win by default. Congratulations, you're better than the buddies. Congratulations. Um, uh, all right, that's Golden Winter. That's our episode. And starting off for a month of wholesome holiday family content. Welcome to the month of Pissmas, everyone. Oh, God. Make it stop. You know we can do it. We've seen, we've seen enough. I've seen more Golden Winter movies. I think there's a Golden Winter too. There is. I think there is. Definitely. I'm pretty Fuck. sure Anyway, that's it. Thanks for listening. Another year down, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for being here. We do actually, jokes aside, we do really appreciate it. And uh, it means a lot for us to have the people like just following us even. Uh, we've got a bunch of social media on Blue Sky and co-host. It's just at Rough Cuts Cast. And you can email us uh, roughcutscast at gmail.com. Or you can, uh, if you really want to help us out, you can... <laughs> Help us pay for these movies by going to our Patreon. And you can get early access to all of our stuff.
Uh, and also clips on TikTok sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're uh, going to put up the Jonathan Blow. The thing. Jonathan Blow to, edit. <laughs> I have to show everyone. It's incredible. Oh, my God. Uh, anyways, I heard there's a new video game coming out. It's called Braid. <laughs> you want to play it? It's just some guy. It's like Mario and shit. You jump on stuff. I've heard that thing has no point. Yeah, there's no fucking point. You just jump and you go, whoop. You can go backwards. You can just go whoop, whoop. Yeah, there's no fucking point. You just go ah, whoop, ah, whoop. It's so good. Can we send this to Jonathan Blow <laughs> to make him cry? Jonathan Blow cries on his own. You don't need to fuck. <laughs> Alright, see ya. to the game you just walk around jumping on shit yeah. it looks like they're, they're not seeing the most important thing <laughs>